Hey everyone! So it has been a little while and I'm sorry. I feel like I hate that I start a lot of videos off that way but I was doing really good with videos and then I just kind of stopped. So um, I didn't stop for any other reason aside from just being busy and life you know. Um, but I wanted to do my weigh in video and then just talk to you guys for a few minutes. My phone is at like 20 something percent so I'm not going to be on here for a long um, hopefully. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just felt like talking to you guys a little bit and, uh, just letting you know, like, what my plans are, which doesn't mean, like, when I say plans, it doesn't mean, like, I'm not doing Weight Watchers anymore or, or anything like that. So, before you, like, click off this video and roll your eyes at me, <laughs> um, that's not what it is. My hair is a mess. I need to shower after this, so... Please forgive my appearance. I'm probably going to put a filter on this just because I look a hot mess. But anyways. So, the last I updated you guys, I believe, was a food, like a haul, a grocery haul. And, um, so there was that. I'm trying to remember. I think that was the last video. And, uh, I told you guys I switched my weigh-in days, um, from Tuesdays to Fridays. And that was just because I felt like that just works better for me. Um, just with we don't really do anything during the week. It's very, very, very easy for me to like plan my weeks and my meals and stuff. Um, but on the weekend, um, I don't want to say like, I just completely go off plan or fall off track, but I'm sure you guys can relate. Like weekends are harder because that's usually when you're more social or you're doing things or you're going out to eat, you're out and about. So uh, that is my like, I don't know what to call it. Um, week, I don't want to say weakness either. I don't know. It's hard to explain. So, as I basically said in the uh, last video, like if we were to go out or um, by go out, I mean like eat out or have some drinks because me and my husband, you guys may or may not know this, we have our uh, date night. We do it like once or twice a week or no, that's a lie. <laughs> I wish <laughs> once or twice a month where we just hang out at home. We don't have anywhere. Uh, we don't have anybody near us um, to like babysit Caden or anything like that. So we just kind of make the best of what we have and we have date nights in and Caden will be either in bed or like in his room watching a movie and him and I, Kate, Kevin and I will have some drinks and play a game or watch a movie and have a snack or something. And I enjoy those moments and I find that being a married person, especially in a relationship for as long as I have been in, um, it'll be 16 years next month. Uh, we've been married, it'll be nine years this year in October. Um, so we just hit eight years not too long ago. But I just find like those things, those moments are really important. And um, I don't know, I just want to enjoy them, if that makes sense. So I felt like weighing in on Friday was the best for me. That way, if for some reason I went crazy, I could um, have the week to make up for it, which I have been trying to really like make sure I don't go crazy. Um, maybe have like a meal out on a Friday evening, some drinks if whatever, like we did this past weekend and then, you know, continue on life as normal. <laughs> um, but, uh, like my birthday is next Friday and my in-laws are coming this weekend and, um, we have a birthday party, uh, next weekend after, so my birthday's next Friday. So Sunday, that Sunday we have a birthday party to go to and, um, I just, things happen on the weekend. So I feel like I just like blabbed on for like ever about why I changed my weigh-in day. Um, but yeah, I just wanted you guys to kind of like understand where I'm coming from as far as that goes. And again, some of you may agree with it. Some of you may not. And that is what this is all about, making things work for you. So, um, with that said, I did weigh in on Friday and I was really excited to weigh in. I felt like I did really well. I tracked everything that I ate. And, um, I tried to up my water intake. I really wanted to try to drink a gallon a day. Um, however, I failed in that, um, on day one, which, uh, I like didn't bring my water bottle to work. Um, <laughs> fail. Um, and then like, I just, my job is very busy. So like, I'm not just sitting at a desk, just like typing numbers. Like I'm constantly getting phone calls. I'm back and forth from the front of our office to the back of the office. I deal with technicians and people in and out of our office all day. So I'm often very distracted and busy during the day, which is good because I don't like 
eat and snack a lot. Um, where I know a lot of other office jobs have the, like that appeal to them in the sense that there's always like snacks or you know what I mean. I don't have time. A lot of the times I don't even get, I don't get a lunch break. I'm supposed to take an hour lunch and I don't get it ever. Ever. Um, and I think it was one day last week I didn't even get a lunch at all. Like I didn't even have time to eat lunch. Um, I didn't eat breakfast till like 1130. Like, so it's just that's just kind of how my life goes so like I didn't get the opportunity to um what was I gonna, oh drink my water so like I brought my water bottle and just sat there all day I like didn't drink anything it wasn't that I didn't drink my water and I was drinking other things I didn't drink anything I always have my cup of coffee in the morning if it's a rough morning I have two <laughs> um but other than that so yeah so the water thing, I was drinking more water, but I wasn't quite where I wanted to be. But aside from that, like, I felt like I did really, really good. I was actually looking forward to my weigh-in. Um, and so I get on the scale on Friday morning, especially when I had more time than normal. Like, I was supposed to technically weigh in on Tuesday, and I pushed it back because I was trying to roll into having a Friday weigh-in. So having, like, I don't know, like an extra Tuesday... Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, like three days. Like I felt like I had the upper hand while well, I got on the scale. And if you guys follow me on Instagram, you already know I got on the scale and I was up point two, which I don't know what the hell's going on. I don't know. Also know what's going on with my hair. Um, I was beyond pissed and I'm not even gonna lie. Like I was pissed because I'm like, what is going on? Like I've been doing this for a month basically all of January and as I stand right now which I haven't got on the scale since Friday I am up 0.4 I'm almost a half a pound heavier than when I started Weight Watchers at the beginning of the year what the f <laughs> I don't understand like I, I can't explain it and um I don't know there's a few people that have reached out to me on Instagram like what happened like what are you doing and giving me suggestions and I really appreciate that um that's why I'm part of this community I'm part of this community on YouTube and Facebook or uh, not Facebook but um Instagram because everybody is so caring and supportive and willing to like help each other out and I really really appreciate that I know there's like that small handful of like really judgmental rude people fortunately I have not come into contact with them um but I don't work well with rudeness but if like you're trying to help me I genuinely appreciate it um so thank you if any of you from Instagram follow me on YouTube I appreciate your kind words and your private messages because I got a few of those the other day um but yeah I to say I was disappointed is as I said in my Instagram post an understatement I don't understand I really don't um, the only thing I can think of, because as a normal human being, you try to think of what could have made you gain weight, um, when you're doing everything right, is that I did have a lot of sodium over the week, and I wasn't drinking as much water as I probably should have, especially to cancel out the sodium. So, one night I made some sort of, like, Asian-y, like, stir-fry that had soy sauce, and, uh, the last time we bought soy sauce, apparently I picked up the wrong one. I usually get the low sodium, and this one was not low sodium. Which I didn't realize, so I was like, you know, putting it all over my food. So that was like super salty. And then I made um like a pot roast. Like, it was like a roast with like gravy. And uh, we had it on bread. And um, I like accounted for all the points, but it was so salty. And I didn't even add salt to it. And we couldn't figure out what it was that was so salty. So obviously that was high in sodium. So I don't know, like I'm just reaching here at this point if that could be it. Um, someone suggested I have, I'm eating too many carbs. And while I can look and say, yeah, maybe I am. My response to that is that is why I'm doing Weight Watchers because there's no restrictions. Like you can have whatever you want as long as you account for it. And that's what I'm doing. So it's kind of shitty, not shitty, a, for that person to say but it, it's shitty to think in your mind like oh I'm on this plan where there's no restrictions and you can eat whatever you want and where you can count up for it but I'm eating too many carbs like and I don't feel like I'm eating that many carbs like I try to do sugar-free whatever it is um, if I can like creamer and stuff and uh, if I have carbs it's like like a sandwich or like something at dinner like I'm not having like 
rolls on the side of all my meals or any like excess carbs, I guess you'd say. I'm just eating like a normal person. So I don't know, like if you are doing Weight Watchers, are you experiencing like weeks where you ate too many carbs? Like I guess you could have weeks where you ate too many carbs. I guess it's a possibility. I don't know. I'm just kind of frustrated right now, but I'm not like giving up or anything like that. Um, as a matter of fact, another thing I wanted to talk to uh, you guys about, which kind of rolls into this, is that I am doing, I do photo books through Shutterfly. I do what I call like a family yearbook. And I apologize that this is already 10 minutes long. Thumbs up for y'all that are still with me here. Um, but I do a family yearbook and I try to do one once a year. I've pretty much documented Caden's entire life in photos. And um, so I suck. <laughs> and I am just now working on 2016. I'm like a little over halfway done. I think I'm in like October. And I'm super like picky about it and I do it in chronological order and I go like month by month throughout the entire year so um with that I have to use um my Shutterfly syncs with my phone um so whatever phone I have at the time those photos just automatically upload to my Shutterfly account um, but I also use Facebook to help me because you know Facebook is good with um like giving you dates and stuff like if I usually if anything exciting happens most people will probably like post it on Facebook or share a picture or something so I'm kind of using that along with my Shutterfly account uh, but because my phones do sync with my Shutterfly account I um, have everything documented in Shutterfly or yeah in Shutterfly so anytime I posted like you could scroll through my Instagram account and any photos I posted any like memes or inspirational quotes or food pretty much every one of those pictures are in my Shutterfly account in chronological order that's the cool thing about Shutterfly so you can click on your albums like all photos and then you can click on the year and then the month and I'm at a point now where I'm scrolling through 2016's photos and that is when I hit my 50 pound mark I actually think I hit 55 pounds in August and I felt fucking amazing I'm sorry for the language but it's true I remember the feeling I even have pictures of the scale reading because I took the picture because I was like what like I was so excited that I hit that number and I felt amazing I felt freaking amazing I felt good I felt like I looked good I, I was confident I was happy I was glowing I took so many selfies all the time and now I almost never take selfies because I'm not that person right now and I saw photos of like after workout photos like selfies like when I was all sweaty and stuff and I'm like man like I want that I want to be back there I want to go back to that place that was such a happy place for me and I felt so good and yeah it sucked and yeah it, sometimes I wanted to quit and give up but I didn't get there by giving up do you know what I mean so those pictures like it's just weird like it all came to me on Sunday because I was spending a lot of time working on the photo book and I just really inspired myself as crazy as that sounds just looking at those photos and just seeing how happy I was and like the glow and like the face-to-face -face Friday photos and the throwback Thursday photos where I'm doing like like you know before and after or before and during however you want to put it I felt I felt good and I was just happy and confident and like I don't feel like that right now that's why there's like a filter on the screen like I want to go back there um oh and some of the pictures were from when I was doing boot camp do you guys remember when I was doing boot camp have you been with me since then like that was um September into October of 2016 I did I went to fit body boot camp and it kicked my ass and I felt amazing after every single session. I think I did it for like six weeks. I felt amazing, amazing. I hated going every time. I would always try to talk myself out of going and every time I would go, it was only 30 minutes, like three times a week and I would come out feeling amazing. And I was so proud of myself and I felt so accomplished and I was toning my arms and stuff and I'm ready to do that because guess what you guys first of all we're trying to have another baby and I want to be healthy and happy during the pregnancy not that I wasn't during Caden's pregnancy but um I feel like I could feel so much better you know so I want that 
sorry. Um, so there's that. And then second of all, I am in a wedding. I'm in my brother's wedding in October. And I would be lying if I said I was excited. I was incredibly flattered and what are you doing? Go. Bad kids. Um, I was incredibly flattered that they asked me to be in the wedding. And then I got to really thinking. My sister-in-law-to-be is about 10 years younger than me. She's like 24, I think. I'll be 33 next week. So yeah, she's like 9 years younger than me. And she is thin, naturally. And all of her girlfriends are thin thin naturally and here I am this like big fat blob and I don't like part of me is like no I don't want to do this the other part of me wants to like kick my own ass so I can feel amazing I know I'm never going to be to where they are and it's not because I I don't think I can or I'm not going to try but I'm not built that way if that makes sense like I've always been a thicker person but I can be a thicker person and a more fit and healthy person, if that makes sense. So that is like what I'm aiming for. Um, I'm not going to do it here because I'm not really editing this video. So I can just like upload it like right away basically. But love you, love you too. Turn the bathroom light off, please. Um, but she sent me the picture of the dress, which is actually very pretty. It's like a wine colored dress. And um, go to back to bed, please. Anyway, it's like a wine color dress from David's Bridal. If you guys have David's Bridal, um, you could probably look it up. It kind of looks like it's an empire waist. It has like a slit going up on the side. And um, the top of it is like a lace overlay with it's uh, one strap. So it's got like that, like, I don't know. What's that called? Like, a, um, what is that called? Like a, the white sheets, Greek. What is that called? I can't think of that. You guys know what I'm trying to say. And you're, you're going to leave the comments in below. Um, but anyways, that's what it looks like. It's really, really pretty. I just um, know I need to tone my arms <laughs> to be able to feel comfortable. Excuse me. Comfortable in it. Um, so it's like funny because it's like either I'm going to be pregnant or I'm going to be fit as hell. So anyways, uh, that is that. <laughs> I hope I didn't bore you to death. I hope that you guys understand what I'm saying and where I'm coming from. Hopefully you can relate in some way. Um, once again, like I always say, I appreciate all of your support and your love on here and on Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, you should. Mrs. Kristen G, just like on here. Um, and yeah, like I love you guys. And I'm happy to be back in this community, even if I'm doing a shitty job at losing weight. <laughs> <laughs> it will happen. Oh, one last thing. Oh my God, 18 minutes. Um, like two years ago, I to ease into working out, I, I started out with an arm challenge, and I posted the picture of it on my Instagram page. Um, but it's an, the it's like a 30 day arm challenge, and um, basically, sorry, Instagram notification popped up. Um, basically, it's like you know you do. You add reps to it every day. And I did that last year and it hurt my arms, not gonna lie, but it trimmed my arms and toned them a lot and it kind of eased me into working out. Um, that's kind of what I started out doing. And then I started doing it with weights. And then I started doing like more home workouts for like Jillian Michaels. And then I was also doing Bikini Body Mommy, which I may pick up on. My issue with her is that I have a short attention span and I get bored of things. So I get She's a very nice lady, I'm sure, but I got very, like, bored of her. <laughs> um, so I got sick of, like, the same repetitive thing. I knew she just changed it up, like, each week, but there was something about just doing the same thing every single day was kind of driving me crazy. So I never, like, completed any of her 90-day challenges, but I did do a few. I think I got to, like, day 60 or something in one of them, which I was pretty damn proud of myself um, because the old me would have never done that. Um, so anyways, that's that. If you want to join me on the 90, 30 day arm challenge, let me know and I can send you the information if you want to give me your email address or you can, um, I don't know how you message on YouTube, but you can send me a message on Instagram and I can send you the thing. Um, or if you're already friends with me on Facebook, you can, um, 
uh, private message me there and I'll send it to you that way. But, um, you know, this community is like, we have each other's backs and we need to work together and yeah, we got this. I got this because of you guys. So that's all for now. Thank you so much for watching. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.